These are the covert pop-up hook liners. We do a bottom bait version, which is just a plain click kicker, very small, very tidy, very neat. But this version enables you to create a lovely, neat, very efficient D-Rig style hook bait mounting arrangement. And we'll just run through quickly how to tie it up. Simplicity itself will only take a minute. These are all the components you really need to be able to put together a really nice presented hook bait using one of our uh, pop-up hook liners. That's just a, a 3mm internal diameter rig ring. They're the large ones in the covert range. A size 6 incisor and a large pop-up hook liner. If you're going to go for a smaller size hook, the smaller pop-up hook aligner is the one to go for. But on this case, I'm using the see-through brown with the size 6. So the first stage is, very simply, to mount the little rig ring onto the D. Fairly straightforward like that. Helps if you just squeeze the preformed kind of eye that is going to go over the hook and then they pop straight on and your hook bait will be mounted on that in a moment. Once I've done that, I just use a braided hair needle. Find that once I've got it all in place on there, I can't do anything klutzy like drop the rig ring off or anything. So that's on position. That's ready to go on my hook link as soon as I've tied on the hook. This case, just going to be using a little section of this nice brown coloured sink skin. It's a nice mid colour. If you see through the back there, it's a nice mid brown, blends in with a hell of a lot of different lake beds. I've just cut us about nine inches off, stripped two centimetres from the end. And all we'll do is you don't need to tie, strip a lot of because you're not actually going to create hair out of it. All you're doing is just enough to be able to do your knot, knotless knot. A few turns up, it's sufficient. Back through the eye, remember, coming from the outside of the hook through the eye towards the point side of the hook to help make it twist naturally anyway. That's your starting point. Now, remember I put this on here earlier. Just gonna use the braided hair needle to get it going on. When you get up to the hook eye, carefully get the first bit of rubber over the hook eye. And then it's a simple case of lining it up so that the D on the back sits perpendicular off the back of the shank so it's not twisted, otherwise it will affect the way that it sits at the end. And really, that is about it. It's that simple. So we've jumped a couple of stages. All I've done to finish the rig off, to show it to you in its finished form, is add on a, a small pineapple pop-up just enough to hold the rig up, taken out a small section of the skinned hook link there and added a, a bit of critical mass putty onto it as well. And what you see that does is it allows a small hinge to form there so that the pop-up sits correctly. The presentation is all aided by the fact that it's mounted on the back of the hook so the hook tends to hang in the right direction and the angle which is quite refined compared to a lot of kickers out there. The angle created by the line aligner, the hook aligner, is just enough that when combined with the skinned hook link, it turns the hook over really efficiently. And you can hardly get it to move. As soon as it touches any fold, that's it. That hook's being turned over. And that's pretty much how it's going to work in the fish's mouth. It's going to turn over. You've got the buoyancy of the hook bait on the back of the shank and that's going to present nicely on the lake bed as long as you've got the right lead, lead arrangement and sit there prone, ready to hook anything that comes along really. Ever so simple to tie and you've got A1 rig mechanics with it.